It's double, nigga. Let go. DJ Vine, the true, true, true. Born a sinner, die winner. So deep as the ocean, yeah, I shed a few tears. No fears, just some emotions. Trials and tribulations, locked up or on probation. Stay time, fair time. My niggas just be patient. Waiting to get your shine on, you can live through me. Still get your grind on, behind them walls, nigga, eat. Shit, we holding shit down, ten toes stay on your feet. And crowd over everything, the acronym on no eat. When I mean on the corner, the whole thing of the concept of the song is it's going from working to strive to do something better yourself. As far as, I mean, you know, you got people that go to work every day, you got bills to pay, but what you really working for? Retirement, right? Any guy that's on the block, he trying to grind to get off the block because he don't want to do that all his life. Who wants to work all their life? Right. So, you know. You gotta look like you gotta treat the job like it's the corner. You know what I'm saying? You get up. It's a it's repetitive. You know what I'm saying? So if you it don't matter what you're doing, you're hustling, you're selling hair, uh, you, you braid hair. Let's see, um, you fixing could be cars, selling, you could be you fixing doing. cars, selling dinners. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like that's getting it off the corner. So that's the whole thing of the song is. And then also, I kind of you know I had a guy, I had one of my closest friends that was a locked up at the time and I kind of felt like you know he was actually on the corner and what got him in the situation that he was in so you know I had stopped hustling you know what I'm saying and I took what I had been through and turned it and put it into the music so that's where I get my inspiration you know I got I got a lot to talk about because I got it off whoa the huh yeah how real is that yeah a few of y'all do need to come up off the corner though man it ain't the corner ain't been too good to you, man. You in and out the out the jailhouse, you know what I mean? You losing work, you know. You I'm, be good at it. I get it. You know, you it's inspiring. It's it's inspiring you if you got a job. The song is like inspiring you to continue to move up. Right, right. You know, right. don't don't let the glass ceiling catch you at a certain level. You know what I mean? True. I get that. That's that's very good, man. You know, and then if you don't got a job, you know. You know, and you are on the corner and you trapping or whatever, you wanna you wanna put yourself in a position when you ain't gotta do that forever. Right. Set, you set t- you a go. Set your go. If you on that is corner, that what you did? Set you a go. You you yeah. said you were in the streets one time. Did, was your goal to do just enough where you could pull yourself out and get into this music or what? Well actually yeah. Um, cause you know, to spend some money you gotta make some money. And you know, due to the fact that <laughs> <you have>, uh, <laughs> Oh no! I'm, we used to hear in order to make some money, you gotta spend some money. But you talking about before you even spend, you gotta make some. That's true. Yeah. So um, what I did was, you know, I took uh, being a product of my environment, and I took something negative and tried to turn it to something positive. Took something negative and turned to something positive. That's right. What What about those guys that used to hang out with you on the corner that you drew inspiration from the right songs and? They never did get it correct, you know, and they did never pull themselves out of the street. Well, all I can say is I, I pray for them, you know what I'm saying? Um, that's crazy that you said that because uh, I lost my best friend two years ago, and his birthday is this Monday. His name was LaRon Clarence Scott, you know what I'm saying, an unsolved murder, you know what I'm saying, rest his soul. He's one of the reasons why I do this rap stuff, you know what I'm saying? If it wasn't for him or, you know, what happened to him, it wouldn't have really motivated me or pushed me to go as hard. Was because it, he, he was, was in mur- the sh- He was murdered? Yeah, he was in the street, you know. He was in the streets, real close friend of y'all. And that kind of motivated you to say, to take another look at your own life. That's right. And I am double, you in trouble if I have to pull the heat. And it's a hustle, I'm gonna bubble. Let's believe my family eat. I'm sipping purple on my Urkel. Yeah, I'm nerdy with your freak. When you heard me, she be thirsty. Study buddy for the week. Lord protect me from my friends. I can handle my enemies. See, the proof is in the pudding. A couple niggas befriended me. I do my dirt or buy my lonesome. Ain't no coping to me, cause I ride with my niggas. They want niggas, that's my kin to me. close friend died and and what was he a fan of your music you know like yeah he always used to tell me uh he was very smart like he 
he knew stuff about the music industry that I didn't know about, like just being an independent artist, you know what I'm saying, and how to get my music out there. He used to just come up with, hey, I got this information. And man, I'm talking about crazy concepts. Like, I didn't know nothing about a Kickstarter, you know what I'm saying? And it was so funny because I'm like, that, that's, that's what I call my style of rap. I did my research and I figured it out, you know what I'm saying? Well, Kickstarter is where people, it's like a GoFundMe, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Where you put your project out, you give it a time limit, and people who really are interested in your music or want to help you, they invest into you, you know what I'm saying? Did you go that route? We kick nah, I started to, but I didn't. But your friend was giving you this kind of advice giving you really smart advice that, and and he probably wasn't even an artist well when we was younger when we was adolescents yeah he was he was an artist but he, he just, just knew knew about the ins and outs of the industry right and he shared the light with you shared the light yeah. believed in you that much where he took the time to do that yeah he did and i appreciate that he did that so when this passing away happened why is it that you didn't fold and give up and say, you know what, lose lose your appetite for what you got going on? Well, what it did was it made me hungry. It was like this was what he, this was what he wanted me to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He would have wanted me to push harder, strive harder. You got a story to tell. I got a story to tell just through him. You know what I'm saying? Just from a little bit of time that he had on this earth. You know what I'm saying? Like, I still haven't made a song. I just be so emotional. Like, I want to make a song about him, you know, our bad times and our good times. I was going to ask you that. I, I was going to ask you. Every time I try, I just get, it just hit me right here. You know what I'm saying? It's going to come. Oh, it's coming. So now, the death of your friend, now, how, how, how did he die? You said it was an unsolved mystery? Yeah, well, they ended up finding my, my best friend off uh, right here off Wade Park. I can't remember what side street it was, but his body was dumped off in the bushes, holding his head. He was butt naked. They found him with just his socks on. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't, you don't do nobody like that, man. You know, don't treat nobody like they trash. They just, you know, they dogged him like they treat him like that. That's somebody's son. You know what I'm saying? Somebody's nephew. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He could have been a potential father. You know what I'm saying? So was he involved in the street stuff? Yeah, he he was definitely involved in streets, but he was real smart. He was real quiet. So. I mean, it had to be somebody that he know, you know what I'm saying? To the point where I don't think I know him because, you know, he knew to keep me separate from that because he, he seen me on the path, on the road to the Oh, music. wow. So, so he didn't involve you in the stuff that he was doing? Yeah, no, no, no. But at the same yeah. time, he was giving you game. Was he an older cat, older than you? Or? No, we was the same age. As a matter of fact, he, uh, his birthday is Monday, the 21st. He'd, wow. be, tw he'd be 35. Wow. Yeah. What a coincidence. So yeah. I've been going hard. Really, you know, this month been real emotional for me, man. You know what I'm saying? Besides that, his birthday, I lost my grandma the day before Mother's Day. Coincidence. It's been a year since that happened. Wow. That's another reason why I've been going hard. You know what I'm saying? Was your grandma a fan, too? Man, my grandma was a gospel singer, man. I think everybody in the city of Cleveland probably know Juanita Dawkins, man. Juanita Dawkins? Juanita Dawkins, man. She was, oh. she, she was a star on the gospel man, set, Man, huh? she, was, she, was, she was blessed. Okay. She was blessed. What? What? Yeah. What? Were you blessed to have her ever heard your music? Um, I think she might have just got a little snippet of it. She knew what I was doing, but I didn't want it. You know how them church going folks yeah. is though. They they turn their nose up they to be the like, streets, I don't baby. like it. I don't like oh. it. So. You know. But she uh she said you know, one conversation I did have with her before she ended up leaving this earth, you know, going home. She uh she told me you know. Keep doing what you're doing. I'm proud of you. Now, 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 you started your own label, In Crowd. Yes, yes. And how you spelling that with a capital N? It's capital N C R O W D. Now, what's so coincidental about that is, um, I've been rapping for some years now. I want to say about five, six. You know what I'm saying? The company actually started. It was four of us. You know what I'm saying? And um. We start. We dropped our first collaboration mixtape with DJ Steph Law. Shout out to DJ Steph Law, and it was oh, called oh. In Crowd Over Everything. You know what I'm saying? It was four of us, and um, after a period of time, you know, my guys they started, you know, kind of falling back. I love them dudes, but hey, the show must go on. So yeah. what I did was, you know, I, um, 
I kept going hard, striving, because I'm starving, I'm hungry. So, you know, I took it upon myself to let my actions be louder than my words. So, you know, I took my little hustle money, you know what I'm saying, my little job money, and I put it behind my craft. You know okay. what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. And then I ended up that, becoming huh, Get that. CEO. That, that. That's game right there. You can soak that up. Took his hustle money, yes. took his job money, you know what I mean, and parlayed that into what he's got going on now. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Y'all can take that for what it is. So you take dirty money and you try to make it to legal money. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Invest it to yourself. Like a penny. Yeah, like a penny. I mean, that's yeah. also important because, Definitely you know, we, no, we sound funny because I'm saying it over again, but he could have went the other way. His best friend passed away. His best friend was deep in the streets. You know, he was in the streets a little bit. He could have took his hands and flipped it in the street and said, you know what, uh, I'm going to slow down on this. You know, I'm, I'm going to stay out here where this yo yeah. is, you know what I mean? Pretty much. You know what I mean? But you had the wherewithal and the courage to stay with your goals and your dreams and your aspirations. We commend you for that, man. Appreciate and now, it. when you came up with In Crowd and you got this album that you came out with last year before this new project, what's the name of the album? Again? The album was it's called Star Phone Fever. Styrofoam uh, fever, baby. Huh? Uh, what you know yeah. about that? You know, you already know what time it is. It's styrofoam fever. <laughs> all the alcoholics <laughs> is getting up right now applauding. You know what I mean? But Shout it's out all to Ace good. Town. Shout out it's to Ace Town. It's all good, baby. Styrofoam <laughs> fever, you know what I mean? Yeah. Now, why come with this? What, what, what was that all about, styrofoam Well, fever? you know what I'm saying? Uh, it, was, it was funny because, you know, uh, I ended up doing a little bit. I came home and... Uh, my dudes, like I said, we had the in crowd stuff going on at the time. You know what I'm saying? My dude had a studio. You know what I'm saying? So they kind of felt like, yeah, we gonna bring them in and da 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 da. And they was doing like, you know, ecstasy and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, I ain't fucking with that shit. Like that. I ain't fucking around that. You know what I'm saying? Lean, lean, and, and all so, that. so you know, I ended up, you know, running into my cousin. He from, you know, north side of Texas. Shout out to Trey. You know what I'm saying? He's like, man, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead, take a sip of this. Man, listen. I felt like I was chilling with MJG <laughs> and eight ball. Hold he on. and Pimp C came and talked to me like, "Hey, I'm like, uh, what's up, man? What's up?" So hey. you, what you was on that lean? Man, I was lean, 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 lean. Hey, so hold on, so so hold on, <laughs> so double cup, double cup for sake the drugs and went straight to the lean, baby. You know, hold on, no, hold on, we gotta, we got no, I'm double cup. I'm glad that you were courageous to talk about that, cause we oh, just had people like Kanye on TMZ talking about he was addicted to opiates. Like to be honest with you, as you, you know, you listen to some of this music now, a lot of it has to do with drugs, prescription, yeah, prescription yeah. drugs, like. You know, you got your Zannies, you got your Perks, your Oxys. You, you hear them talking about lean. You know, I feel like marijuana, it comes from the earth. Man, ain't nobody OD'd off no marijuana, for real, for real. Right. But, you know, you got your ecstasy. They talking about the Molly now, the new stuff. It's all types of crazy little drugs out here now. But uh, as me, as a, as a mud sipper, that's what I call it, mud, muddy water. You know what I'm saying? As we're going to call it lean. Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't abuse the drug. You know what I'm saying? Um... I, I take it, I feel like it's needed, you know what I'm saying? Have, is, a, have you ever been, has there ever been a point in time where you was doing your thing musically, maybe in the studio, maybe at a show, and, and you was like, man, I did a little bit too much, I, I can't do it like this? Actually, you know what, that's funny that you said that, because I had one incident, you know, um, I drunk too much lean. <laughs> you was probably about to lay and, down. Um, when you drink too much lean, you ain't just leaning no more. Oh, you about to it, lay down. It man. wasn't even that I was sleepy. I went to okay. go record, and my words just came out <laughs> like I really had a southern accent. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they, they like, what you just say? I'm just telling you what I'm talking about. They like, what? So. Maybe yeah. that's why. Maybe that's why the mumble rap game is the way it that's is. That's probably drugs. where it came from, huh? Yes. Maybe we might be on to something. You we say might you was be mumbling and coming up I'm with words. I'm talking about man. I knew what I was saying, but they like it don't sound like you saying nothing but some jibber jabber. Right. And they like yeah, just put that on the beat. And I was like, it sounded good. It yeah. even sounded better once we chopped and screwed it. 
So, like I said. Oh, you end up chopping it straight. Yeah, so, you know. I, I, <laughs> so, I, you I, end up going with it, but you end up. Yeah, that's, that's okay. why they call me Double Cup Killer, man. You know, my music, my niche, I'm a niche rapper. I call my music style kickstand music. In crowd is a label, you know what I'm saying? Either I got some chopped and screw in there or something, or I'm, you know, talking about. You say you call it kickstand music. Kickstand music. Because of what? Kickstand, you know how your motorcycle just lean on this kickstand. Okay, you know okay, saying? okay. Oh, this is the lean. So if you on that lean, you need the lean music. You need that kickstarter kick music, man. Music. That kickstand yeah. music. Okay, I'm getting him now the kickstand music. Yeah. A lot of y'all need to get y'all kickstand game up, baby. For real. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I mean, I don't advise everybody to use lane. You know what I'm saying? If it's prescribed to you, use it. You know what I'm saying? Just don't abuse No, live your life is what I'm saying. If, yeah, you, if, yeah. You, if, if you really bought your life, live your life, you know, but keep it real. And like you did. You came on. You didn't just was like just talk about lean like it's the thing to do. You gave an example how you figured like you can't be on it all the time, especially Man. handling your business. Definitely. You know, business. and that's what the people need to know out here because that's what's wrong. They, they get the starter and the party pack going to the studio thinking that's music. Now, I got a new project called Drug Abuse, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Which now, is so funny. It's a natural progression, you it's can tell. It's a natural progression, but this, this project is basically, it was built off the producer. Shout out to Mook on the Beat. That's my homie, Mook on the Beat. Check him out on all social media. Murder Mook on the scene, or Murder Mook on the scene, or Mook on the Beat. Great engineer, great beat maker. So what we did was, me and my homie Flizzy Flame, call him the hood hippie. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about real hood hippie. Like, not white boy hippie, but hood hippie. So, you know, we, we, we came up with this project like, hey, you know, you the kickstand, man. You like sipping on that dirty. I like smoking reefer. So what we did was we combined our powers together with Mook on the beat. I call him the Kevin. And we built up this EP called Drug Abuse. Which is on all digital. What's the change platform. of music? Like, what are you talking about? Are you talking about drug abuse? Are you talking about, you know, your challenges of, you know, uh, being clean? Like, what, what, what's, what's the well, concept? Well, okay. The whole concept of the drug abuse EP is we wanted to make some uh, some party music. You know what I'm saying? Where you ain't, it ain't, I'm about to shoot, it ain't hardcore. I'm about to run up on you, shoot your bang, bang, bow, bow. No, nah, we're going to. Smoke a little reefer, we might sip a little lean, we're gonna talk to the ladies, you know what I'm saying? And we're gonna make some money. And we're gonna turn up, you know what I'm saying? We'll turn a, what they call a kick, what we used to call house parties, yeah. they call them kickbacks now. Yeah, yeah. So we turning a, a kickback and turn it into a house party. You know what I'm saying? True, true, true. Born a sinner, dying winner. So deep as the ocean, yeah, I shed a few tears. No fears, just emotions. Trials and tribulations, locked up or on probation. Stay time, fair time. My niggas just be patient. Waiting to get your shine on, you can live through me. Still get your grind on, behind them walls, nigga, eat. Shit, we holding shit down, ten toes, stay on your feet. And crowd over everything, the acronym on no E. And I am double, you in trouble. If I have to pull the heat And it's a hustle, I'm gonna bubble Let's believe my family eat I'm sipping purple on my Urkel Yeah, I'm nerdy with your freak And you heard me, she be thirsty Study buddy for the week Lord protect me from my friends I can handle my enemies See the proof is in the pudding A couple niggas be friending me I do my dirt or buy my lonesome Ain't no co in me Cause I ride with my niggas They want niggas, that's my kin and me Table meetings, my team eating king off the click. The power of the P, it's the paper, not the pussy, bitch. Part in the propaganda, shout out to all my hammer. Big up the good sense and all them good treat handlers. Haters, I can't stand for y'all trying to take my cash flow. Wanna blow my candles out, but be careful with your ass, folk. Cause I turn to Hannibal, show you what this cannon do. My mind's on the money, but the money's on the avenue. Fucking with my hoes is like fucking with my high. Fucking with my money's like fucking with my pride. I ain't lying, I ain't lying. 
I'm only out to get it. I ain't playing, I ain't playing this hit. Serious business, my team. Relentless, they say my flow is senseless. Leaning off the double cuts, putting bars like a chemist. Holes in the kitchen, bucket naked, water whipping. While I'm counting cream with my team.